right here, look at their color. They are the color of the season, the trend of the season. These you guys are practically pajamas. They're literally loungewear, but they look so chic and so stylish. I'm gonna style them for you five different ways. Uh, last minute Thanksgiving outfits. Hi everyone, I'm Layla. I run the blog What Layla Loves, where we focus on fashion style, uh, lifestyle, and beauty. Um, so if you are interested in any of that, please stick around. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, it is so good to have you. If you're new, uh, join the family. If you've been here before, hey. <laughs> it's so good to have you guys here. I really wanna get quickly into this video um, because it's a last minute Thanksgiving video idea featuring the only pair of pants you need this Thanksgiving. They're chic, they are comfortable. And when I say comfortable, they're practically loungewear. They just don't look like it because they're faux leather. They're $20, okay, $20. I'm gonna style them for you. And these are the faux leather joggers that I'm gonna style for you five different ways to give you ideas for last minute Thanksgiving outfits. We all have friends here and I couldn't let this pass by without sharing with my people. Thank you for being here. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let's get into the video. Here we are with look number one. This is the most feminine of the looks and this is if you're even going to put in an effort this Thanksgiving. Or you could just store this in the bank for another day. Now as usual there will be reference photos on my blog and more about the outfits and I'm going to uh, give you all the sizing details for these pants on my blog so go check that out. I find that leopard print is a basic and it's an essential for all year long. Um, leopard print, snake print, you know, classic prints like that, but I find even better or a step above that is those prints in different shades and tones. For this shirt, um, it's kind of like a take on a leopard print, but it has like the red, mauve, deep, burgundy, um, aubergine tones and brown tones, which are perfect with this color of brown. And then I put on some like wine colored deep tone shoes too to pick that up. And this is the most colorful of all the outfits and I had to do a color. I love color. <laughs> I know uh, all neutral is in style and everything and I love those looks too, but I'm definitely a color girl. Uh, sometimes I just want color to lift up my spirits. You guys, these pants are 20 bucks. 20 bucks. They are so comfortable. They have so much stretch. I've actually really tightened it, these to get them to sit high on my waist. Um, they're so comfortable. You could eat as much turkey and green bean casserole as you want and nobody will ever know. And they're chic and they're stylish and they are just perfect. They are the perfect pants that you can style up or down and we're gonna do this today. But obviously you don't have to put on heels, but I thought I would just style this up because it's not just for Thanksgiving. You could do this too if you go back to work or whatever you want. It'd be really cute on a date, don't you think? Okay, I am going to add a trench because we are in the fall uh, season, heading into winter, depending on where you are. How chic is that? I mean, who would have ever thought $20 joggers could be this chic, like come on. Add a trench, add a classic style, a classic print blouse, and um, pick up a color on the blouse and the shoes. And all the tones just work beautifully together because of the top. Come on, you guys. What do you guys think? I'm going to link similar items or um, anything, everything I find, especially these pants. I'll also link a trench and colored uh, leopard print, especially in these tones. Um, on the blog, there'll be image links. You, you'll hit the link down below, you'll uh, go through my blog and you will just see the image links, click it, buy it, and you're good to go. <laughs> Check the description box. Now you could also, with this look, if you wanna style it up a little bit more, I would pull the pants up just a little bit and make them really jogger. I had to left them down for like a classic look. But if you want to be more cool and style it up a little bit, you could do that. And you could pull up the sleeves to your trench up a little bit too, to have it styled. You could pull up your collar also, um, depending on your, where you're going. But that is look number one, everybody. Let me know what you guys think. I love this look so much. It is so 
feminine and chic yet still cool, you know? you guys up next is this no-brainer look it's just a cozy thick plush comfortable um, really soft jumper sweater whatever you want to call it wherever you are in the world it's a jumper it's a sweater a knit it's really cozy perfect creamy color it's like white chocolate with a little bit of caramel sauce and a really, really, really nice cappuccino on the bottom, or like a latte, a really nice latte at the bottom. <laughs> this literally reminds me of coffee, <laughs> this outfit. Um, but because I'm short, I avoided doing a pair of boots so they don't cut me off, and what I ended up with instead is Oxfords, but like Oxfords with heels. Um, and so these are Mark Fisher, and I will link some really cool options down below. I love these. They give just the right look for me, especially because I'm short and curvy. Um, and so it kind of streamlines this look a little bit and keeps it from cutting me off. So this I feel like is a completely no-brainer look. I mean, there's really not much thought to this one um, besides the shoes. And I've bunched up the pants a little bit just to give it a more chic look. And this jumper is a little bit big and oversized, and so to avoid looking even rounder, <laughs> I've tucked it in in the front, it's pretty long in the back. And I love this, this is cool and comfortable. If you wanted to switch out um, the Oxfords or ankle boots for sneakers, you could do that too. But I love this, it's just a little bit more elevated because there's a little bit of a heel. Um, but besides that, it is pretty neutral. You could, if it's colder where you are, you could put on a coat. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say about this look, but I really love this with these shoes. If you don't own a pair of heeled Oxfords, I would say um, get yourself some. They really, really. I guess it could interchangeably be the Oxfords or like heeled mules. That would be really chic with this too. It would be a pair of mules with a heel. That would be amazing because it would lengthen you and streamline your look as opposed to a pair of uh, chunky boots that but would probably cut you off but that also depends on your height your body shape and your style also it depends on what you're going for but for me I'm short and round <laughs> and so um, I try to avoid anything that might cut me off while still enjoying these looks that are a little bit more comfortable and easy on the body and just flow you know here we have the third look um, and this is as basic as it gets I love a t-shirt uh, this is a v-neck t-shirt um, choose whatever style of t-shirt suits your body type um, I like a v-neck because I'm shorter uh, it tends to elongate my frame but choose whatever a white tee works for you and then we're gonna style this up really simply with white sneakers I mean that white sneakers are appropriate any time of the year get yourself a pair I'm gonna link someone some on my website go check that out and then I'm gonna do something a little bit different as far as the other styling piece I'm going to do a um, plaid blazer now this blazer I love you're gonna see it in another video um, mine is thrifted but I'm going to link a bunch of plaid uh, blazers on my website um mine is plaid and houndstooth i mean this is like the og of ogs look at that <laughs> it even has the patches on the elbow um mine is thrifted from a really really long time ago um, i'm looking to invest in a really nice one that's a little bit more modern and boyfriend style but this is what i have now so this is what i'm going to use if you have a longer one a boyfriend style one a more mo modern one go ahead and use that but i'm never getting rid of this thing <laughs> There you have it, you guys. What do you think? <laughs> Isn't that look dope? Um, I shot a bunch of um, 
photos for my blog. Uh, there's a, a, a corresponding uh, blog post on my website. Um, I always do reference photos. That just is my thing. I like to do that. And I like sometimes to go back and look at the photos and just see the kind of looks I did and get, get maybe inspiration from that or try and do something different and just kind of have stock of what I've already done. Um, I love this look. I went to shoot and I went to Starbucks after and this really kind gentleman complimented me so much. It was really nice. Um, he was an older gentleman um, who, whose father I think used to be a photographer for models and stuff and he fell in love with this look. It is so off-duty. It is so model off-duty. It is so cool, um, so chic, so casual and perfect for a casual Thanksgiving or any other time during this fall winter season four years to come. <laughs>
I just can't get enough of this hair. <laughs> I love this look. I think it hits all the marks, uh, particularly this time of the season, a cozy turtleneck. Turtlenecks are cozy and warm, but they're so chic and sophisticated at the same time. Together with the hat, it just brings a sophistication to these pants that I love. And then um, it's, it's great with a heel, but you could do like a loafer or a mule. Um, do whatever feels good for you, or even a ballet flat if you wanted. That would be so good, but I love this. It just turns these $20 Target joggers into something so dressy and chic and sophisticated. Um, I would add it like a bag. This one is like faux fur with hints of leopard print. My black outfit lovers, this one's especially for you. You know what? If you can't fathom um, going through a week without wearing something black. Drop me a black heart down below in the comments. <laughs> Here you have it, you guys. Another faux leather styling video down for the books. This time, faux leather joggers. They are so comfortable, so stretchy, perfect for overeating for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family, however it is you're celebrating this year. It's looking a little bit different, but let's all try and make the most of it. I hope this has been especially helpful for you all. I've had a lot of fun uh, doing this, so let me know in the comments below if you want me to style any other full leather pieces. I have two other full leather styling videos that I will link down below and in the cards, and you can go ahead and check them out. Thank you so much for... As I'm filming this, we're way past 11K in one of those videos, and I just want to thank you all so much. I hope that we could get this video to way past that. We could times that three, maybe five, maybe ten. Um, so there you have it, you guys. Uh, 20 bucks for these pants. 20 bucks at Target. As I'm filming this, they're still available. It will be the first link down below. Go ahead and get you a pair. Size down one size if you're not hippie, if you don't have thick thighs. Size down two sizes. Um, I'm usually a large and these are medium. Go ahead and size down on these pants. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, join the family. I appreciate you all so much for being here. Happy Thanksgiving.